Okay, we're gonna try to do this real quick. Uh, we're gonna add, turn this into a real sort of axe throwing thing as opposed to just an axe spinning thing. Last time around we had an axe that would spin as a result of adding some torque to it. So this time around we wanna add some force to it. I'm gonna add to the force first because I'm gonna add it in a specific direction. So it's a rigid body 2D dot and we should see add force, ready? Um, add force and we use the mode and we're gonna do this before causing it to spin. All right, now we need a direction for the force to go in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add unit and we're gonna say transform dot right, okay? And we're gonna get the transform right of the self, that's fine, okay? That's gonna be our force. Mode is gonna be impulse and we're gonna to want to increase that because that's just gonna be unit direction, so this should be force of one. We want something stronger than that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a unit. This would be a multiply, all right? So we can just multiply that before we add it there. And what do we wanna multiply it by? Well, we're gonna use another variable. And whoops, well, that's interesting, all right? Another variable but it's not gonna be the add torque. We have to define a new variable real quick. Come on, time is running. So here with the object variables, uh, we have this, oh, I set up force multiplier already. So you can go ahead and set that. We will go ahead and say, okay, use the force multiplier there. So we're gonna multiply the right direction times the force multiplier and throw that. Um, right direction set to five. That's reasonable. All right. So now when I press play, our ax will spin and go in that direction to the right. All right, now quickly, 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 quickly. Let's give it something that I can hit. Let's clear this. Um, we're gonna go back to our assets. We're gonna grab a box here, drag that into the scene, put it in line there. All right, uh, what are we gonna add? Now we need to add a few things if we haven't already. Uh, we already have a box collider on here, added that uh, ahead of time. And this box, we're also gonna add component. We're gonna add another box collider on it. Now, um, say just for the sake of argument, and I'm cheating, so I'm gonna say remove component and add component. We're gonna say circle collider 2D. All right, there it is, and that'll be nice because it'll spin that way as well. Now, so if I just press play, it's gonna spin and that should collide. Come on, and it's spinning the wrong direction, but that's okay. All right, so now quickly, we want to do something when it collides. So. We're gonna do this real quick. Uh, we're gonna need a new event. So a uh, on collision enter 2D. All right, that's our event. So just like a start update. And what's gonna happen? We are going to use a new unit. We're gonna add a unit called destroy. And this will be object destroy, all right? And we'll just immediately destroy an object. Uh, the first thing we want to destroy is we want to destroy what we collided with. So we need to expose some things here. We don't just, uh, just uh, uh, have the collider. We want the, the game object as the, um, the parent of that. So if I drag this out, we'll give me the option. Uh, collider 2D. Uh, expose Collider 2D. Yeah, I gotta get in the habit of doing that. So uh, this will notice will have a game object on it. That's going to destroy the other game object that it collided with. And now uh, I'm gonna also do another destroy. I should just, should just don't duplicate here. And the object that now I wanna destroy is myself. So if I say add unit and I press self, you see I can have a self, boom and that will destroy self, okay? So on collision, we get something about the collider, we expose that, the fluid goes here, destroy the object that was on the collider, and then we destroy ourself. Boom, there, five minutes. Take another quick look at that, just so you can see it. All right, so we have our start event where we add the force according to a force multiplier, uh, and we add a torque to make it spin, and then we have an on collision 2D. We get the collider, 
we get the object connected to the collider and so on. Done.